Hi folks, in this lesson we're going to look at how to set up user-defined set lists on the POD HD500X. First of all, we are going to select one of the user-defined set lists uh, to play around with. So just press the knob and you'll see here the little arrow tells you which one we're using. We're going to turn the knob till we get down to user 2 and then you would think you would press that knob to select it, you don't, you have to press enter over here, so press enter and that selects user 2 and then to go back and view what you're actually looking at and uh, the normal display mode press view again and uh, we're now in the uh, set list uh, for user 2 Okay, and um, now we'll go into the software and we'll have a look at it Okay, so when you go into the software, um, regardless of what's showing up here when it starts up, we want to go into set lists. And in here is a list of the eight set lists that you have available. Uh, you'll notice the one when you switch on the, the 500 at first that you'll, you'll see as the default set list is best of HD. And you'll see that it's, it's in groups of four, blocks of four, A, B, and C, and D. And, and, and they're kind of... Uh, associated by default to the, the ABCD foot pedals and then you can cycle through to the second batch and you get two ABCD and in, in, in total you've got 16 batches of four for each set list um, and the idea is you can have different set lists for different uh, different types of music and so this one called Best of HD has a variety of the, the, the common ones that Line 6 think you might want to use. Now imagine you are uh, playing a particular type of music and you want to make your own set list and you might have a uh, want to pick one or two from from the Best of HD or the, the Heavy section or, or whichever ones you want or you might have some custom ones you've made yourself and you want to put them so they're at easy reach um, on the ABCD pedals so that 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D is your choice. What we can do is we can use one of these three user set lists to create our own custom uh, set list. And, and it's really quite easy to do. Um, so let's say I want to take this this uh, patch here, stereo, stereo Grind, and have that as my first one. Simply click on it, left click, and then click and drag over to 1A and you'll see now that that has said uh, stereo grind on it uh, same as up here and you'll notice it's in orange orange means it hasn't been written back to the hardware yet it hasn't been written back to the 500 um, so then let's say I'll take this power chords one from the, the FX heavy set list and I'll put it on 1B I'll take groove bass from this one and C and I'll take this one and put it in here. So now I've got my user 2 custom list has got four different patches from, from all over the place. And you'll notice that they are still in orange. Now I can do two things. Um, I can download them all at once or I can download them one at a time. Let's show you what happens if we download them one at a time. Simply select the one that you want to download. And you'll notice over here I've selected the user 2 a set list on the 500 and in the 1A setting it's blank new tone just means there's nothing in there just now up here if you notice there's the picture of the 500 and we've got options to send the data to the 500 or we can bring data back from the 500 into the software we want to send this patch to the 500 and we've got three options here we can either send the selected one we can send the entire set list that the selected one is part of or we can send all the set lists at once I'm going to select just one and send the selected one and watch down here what happens as soon as I click it this will give you a, a message this is the, the panel live on the 500 so I'm going to send the selected one and you'll see it says sync in progress flicks through a couple of screens and now 1A e, stereo grind reflects this and if I click off that you'll see that's now white because it's been written back to the 500 now if I want to send them all at the same time and do this whole set list um, just select one of the ones on the set list and say send set list 
and you saw it, it worked its way through and turned each of these white in turn. The sink takes a little longer um, and then it will eventually come back once the progress is at 100. Um, and you'll notice now that my 1 to, 1 to 4 or A to D rather reflects A to D. And that's really all there is to it. It's much easier than using the buttons on the actual hardware itself. Once you get used to this software, you, you <laughs> I never use the buttons anymore on, on the hardware. I do it all through the software and it's much quicker and much easier. Now let's say um, I want to bring something back. Uh, let's say I have made changes on the 500 um, and I want to bring it back into the software um, so I can, I can uh, I can edit it. You can go the opposite way, you know. I can say um, I can say receive selected from the five hundred. So say um, say I I don't know. Like to, to, to demonstrate it, if I put tiny flight in there, it's not written yet. But let's say oh I don't want that. I actually want to put it back to the way it was from the five hundred. I can say receive selected from the five hundred, and it will bring back what's in the five hundred. And in the 500, is, there's there's nothing in that patch just now. So you can see you can you can, you can use it as a two-way street. If I had a custom thing I'd made on the 500 by uh, editing uh, manually, I could bring that back into the software that way. So you can see really quite easy and powerful way to uh, to edit your own set lists. Hopefully that all made sense and was of some use. If uh, you want to subscribe, you'll get some more lessons on using the Line 6 Pod HD 500X. Uh, also, um, information on Variax guitar. And uh, we've also got streams on piano and guitar lessons. So uh, if you want some more of that, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks now. See you next time.